I wish I could tell you that I was joking and I'm, I really did know, but I had no idea. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the first ever Tank Tuesday. That's right, you heard it here first, Tank Tuesday. A couple weeks back, I put up a poll on my channel and asked you guys if you wanted me to keep the tank videos to just Fridays or if you wanted me to incorporate a couple Tuesdays. And you know, like 90% of you guys said that you wanted to see a Tank Tuesday and a Fish Friday. So boom, here we are. Now, it's not gonna be every single Tuesday, but I'm gonna try to throw a couple in every month to keep you guys on your toes. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on so that way you know when those Tuesdays pop up. Also, all the Fridays are going to remain on Fish Fridays. Anyway, to kick off the first Tank Tuesday, we are going to be supercharging our filtration system in the Red Sea Max 250. And yes, if the big box didn't give it away, it does have to do with a beautiful in-tank product. If you guys have been on this channel for a while, you've seen my old filtration video where you see that I basically just have all of my media just topple on top of each other. Um, yeah, it's definitely not ideal and I'm pretty sure it's not giving the media like the proper chance to do its best possible job. I figured it was time to get things in order and make sure that everything is working to its max capability. So let's go ahead and unbox and see what we got. First off, can we just take a moment to appreciate this tape? I mean, like, it's in the details, folks. Oh, Swedish fish. I've never seen this in a package. That's super cool. And filter floss. Wait a minute. This is so cool. I have never seen Swedish fish in a little package like this. That is super cute. Dang, not only did they give me one Swedish fish, but they gave me three more. This is how we're gonna supercharge our filtration. Look at these dope stickers that they threw in here. These are super cool. I can't wait to add these to the collection. I still have to figure out where I'm gonna put all my stickers, but the collection is getting pretty serious. Using filter floss to pack the sides, that's freaking awesome. You can never have enough filter floss. And more intake tape, what? Dude, filter floss on the bottom too. Man, you guys are aw Oh, and more Swedish fish. This is like the box that keeps on giving. Oh, and a tank scraper. You know, I was just gonna talk about this. The other in-tank product that I have is a tank scraper. And this is the only thing that cleans the corners of my curved glass and it does such a good job. If you have a Red Sea or any tank with curved glass on the uh, edges, I highly recommend you pick up this tank scraper. It does wonders. Filter floss, four days. I am super pumped. That has to be the worst cut of all time. Come on, this is hard to do with one hand here. All right, I got it. Wow, this thing is nice. Nice, nice. Logo engraved in the side. This thing is awesome. I've never seen a media basket this big because I've never had a tank this big. But I think now would be a great time to mention that this video is sponsored by InTank. Thank you guys so much. I'm super excited to be using this. I'm still gonna run the same filtration that I currently have in my system, which is Purigen, Chemi Pure, Filter Floss, and I have, I believe, like Bio Rocks at the bottom or something like that. So this is the Red Sea Max that we are going to put the InTank media basket into. It hey, water's pretty clear, it's not looking too bad, you know, everything's kind of clean. But I think we'll get a much cleaner water system with the spread out of the media kit. I don't want nobody coming on here talking smack about how my filtration's been set up for a year and a half. Listen, I've been working on it. But we're finally here and we are going to spice this thing up. In here, this is also probably extremely dirty, I haven't cleaned it out in a long time. But this is the mess that I got going on. Everything is just thrown on top of each other and I'm pretty sure that uh, that's not ideal, you know? Like, I don't think everything is getting its proper usage by just being stacked on top of each other. Pretty sure the worst part about this is having to reach your arm so far in here. Goodness. And I'm always a little nervous that something's gonna bite me. You know, I lost a fish back here and I never found him again. Oh, that's so gross. Now my tank is gonna be disgusting. Oh yeah, I'm way in here. Oh, look at this. There's something else in there and I didn't even know. You see, this is what I'm talking about. You just lose stuff back here. Oh, it's heavy. Oh. What in the world is this? 
I had no idea this was back here. I, I'm not lying to you right now. I wish I could tell you that I was joking and I'm, I really did know, but I had no idea. Like I've reached my arm back there multiple times and I never got that far, I guess. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to rinse it out, but it's really disgusting. So I'm gonna just not abide by those rules. And I'm gonna clean it out anyway. So that way I can put it in my beautiful intake media basket and put it back in here. Also, it will be easier to take it out and clean next time because every time I do touch my filtration in the back, look at what happens to my tank. And I had to turn the pump off because it was just literally awful. I also got a new Kemi Pure on deck because my other one is kind of old. So I didn't completely like thoroughly rinse this guy out. I kind of just took all the crap off the bag. That was like really disgusting. We got the new rinsed out Kemi Pure Elite. This Purigen is fairly new, like probably less than a week. I put it in once all the craziness was going down. And then we got that other bag of rocks down there. I'm going to set this up with this bag in here. If it fits, I might have to squeeze it really tight. Here, I'll put the other bag of like pebble rocks. I, I don't know if I need both of these. Somebody in the filtration world can help me out. Do I need these ceramics and this bag of pebbles? Or can I just do with one? Or do I need any? I'm pretty sure I need one of them because of like good bacteria and stuff, but can I eliminate one? Anyway, for now, we'll keep what I got. Bag of rocks here, and then on this one, I think I'm gonna put the Kemi Pure and the Purigen kind of next to each other. Here is going to be the new filter floss, and of course, we're gonna cut a nice piece of the filter floss that came directly from Intank, and we're gonna put it right in there. In the current system that I have, I tend not to cut the entire piece to fill the full spacing, and that is because I've had problems before where it restricted the flow and caused the pumps to do all kinds of wonky things. It actually looks like the intake one has a gap at the top, but I'm just gonna stick to what I know and cut it like three quarters of the size of this piece. Do this like this. Almost perfect right there. So some really solid scissors I have. Came and cut through filter floss. I think we're ready to put this in. Make sure there ain't no water. Please fit. Oh, oh, it's gonna fit. I just need some hands. Wow. It's like this compartment was made for this little bag of tricks. We're gonna go to bag number two, like so. Good old Chemipure. Right there, and we'll put Purigen right next to this guy. It will flow up through the chamber and then through the filter at the end. And also, going to take this guy out for now. So you see what I mean by I don't put it all the way, I just make it two. So that way I know it's not full cleaning, but it still does a really good job and I don't have to worry about it getting stuck or clogged. This guy should drop right on in here. Wow, wow. Wow, that is freaking satisfying. So legit. And then you wanna take it out, boop, stick your finger in there and pull this whole basket out all at once. The last little guy we have to add, there's still a bunch of crap going in there because again, look at what it looks like down there. But now when I do that water change, I can easily pull this out. The last part is to just stick that filter floss down there. Man, that looks sweet. I really love a good mod. I can't stop staring at it. It looks so nice. I also don't know if it's an issue that the Purigen and the Kemi Pure are next to each other. I don't think it is considering they were just thrown on top of each other. But if it is, let me know, please. I do want to quickly show you guys just how good these little in-tank quarter cleaners are. I feel like this is a good little, good little nick for you guys to uh, see this on. So obviously you got to play with it with your tank and find the corner that best works for yours. I can't remember if mine is the bigger one or the medium one. This one? There we go. So mine's the smaller one for the Red Sea Max. And honestly, sometimes I switch them around and like one corner will work for the majority of it, but then not for the rest of it. So I'll switch it to a different one. And that way I could get all of it. That little spot is clean. All the corals are still happy in the tank. I haven't done any final placement for the pieces from last week from Aquashella, but they're hanging in there, they're doing okay. I'm super pumped to finally have this in-tank media basket in the Red Sea Max 250. I really do think it's gonna make a huge difference. Obviously right now we're still a little bit cloudy because of 
all the crap down there, but once I clean it out and let it actually do its job, I think the water is going to flow through all the media much better and it's definitely gonna supercharge my filtration system. I'll put the link down below for my Red Sea Max 250 basket as well as the scraper for the corners of the glasses and I'll also put their website down below so that you guys can check it out. Thank you again to Intank for sponsoring this video. I am super excited to put this media basket to use. I appreciate you guys and I'll keep everybody posted on how the tank progresses and if my water cleans up, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on so you know when Tank Tuesdays go up or every single Friday for Fish Friday, you could be the first one here. Thanks so much for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. Later.